it's for Joe Joe Driver Daily time. How are we all doing today guys? We are proudly supported and sponsored by Pro Mods. If you want an enhanced map mod experience in ETS2, then Pro Mods is the map for you. As well as night haulage, VTCs, DDS haulage of VTCs respectfully. How are we doing today guys? Welcome back. We are in the beautiful German city of Kleben. Oh, ah. I said it yesterday, fine, Koblenz. And uh, we are heading to Arnhem in the Netherlands. So I was just following my minute. It started, I thought, I'll put it in, and I was like, oh no, I'm going to be recording in a minute. And I was like, I just put it next to the side of my gum, yeah, it started burning my gum, <laughs> my gum so I just swallowed it. But we have an issue to discuss. And the issue is Marco. Mark, well, I just want to say congratulations to Marco Royce and his uh, other off Scarlet. They're out there expecting a baby girl in the spring of next year, so congratulations to you guys. And now we're going to talk about my Marco. My Marco is being retired. Um, the skin, especially, is being retired. It'll only be used for truck shows and uh, special events. Um, and on the new Renault that we get, uh, Marco won't be featured on it. Um, the the night guys have decided to stop the airbrushing on the back of the cabs, so Marco won't be making a comeback. And Retro Marco is being retired. That you, it's not being unwrapped. It's not being unwrapped and put into another onto another truck. It's staying wrapped on the actual Renault it is now. That the Renault it's on, it's been, it's been, you know, it's gonna get a clear coat. And what I mean by clear coat over the top is it preserves the livery. Racing cars do it after they win Le Mans. I know Toyota did it um, with their car that won Le Mans, and it keeps all the dirt, well, it keeps the surface pristine because it's protected by the clear, clear tone. We're having clear tone put on Marco, and he'll be kept forever. <laughs> But he won't be on the road. He's going to be retired. So that being said, uh, ooh, we are getting a new Renault. Um, I am getting a left-hand drive, possibly. There's a car. Is there a car there or not? Is it just me? No, it's just me. Sorry, I thought it was Adam. I thought it was a car there. Um, we'll be getting a new one. Uh, I know I said left hand drive, but it's whatever I decide. Um, I currently, at this moment in time, haven't decided on left hand drive, right hand drive. I don't really care um, at the moment because we're in the Scania. Um, this won't be for a while. This this won't be until the new wrap's done. Um, but like I've been saying in the last couple of days, the only reason the new wrap's not been done is because we needed to, we wanted the modding team and the skinning team at night to focus on getting the trailers, getting the full fleet of trailers back out and compatible with 132 game patch from uh, SCS. So obviously Marco's at the bottom of the list at the minute, which is fine, because I'm in the scanning area as it is anyway. Um, we're going to bed this scanning area in for as long as we need to. When I take it back, it's going to get cleaned by the FM team, the fleet management team, and then it's going to be given to a new driver. Um, but until my Renault happens, that driver won't be getting this truck, uh, this unit. Um, so it is quite upsetting. It's not quite upsetting, it is that Marco's being retired. I fully understand and respect why um, the team have done that. So I, I wish the team no hard feelings. I I understand that, you know, for for whatever reason it's not for me to debate. And the airbrushing stopping, and like I said, I I, I agree because airbrushing does take quite a long time. Um, I know that's I know that sucks, but unfortunately it is what it is. It sucks for me a lot. Um, I've even asked if I can keep old Marco, but 
it, it's not going to happen. That's why I asked for clear tones to be put on it. Um, so yeah, we will see him for special events and driving him to truck first or um, if Dortmund win the league. If Dortmund win the league, Marco will come back out to the start of the next season. So if Dortmund win the league this year, the top, top of the table clear three points at the minute. Um, especially after yesterday's 4-0 triumph in Stuttgart. Um, if Dortmund win the league, I'll bring, I'll, I'll, make, I'll get the management to bring Mark, old Marco back out, and we'll drive him till the start of the next season. Okay, that's if, see if we, if we win a competition or we win the Bundesliga. If we win the DFB Pokal, and it'll come out for a month, we win the DFB Pokal is. Ah, oh, just he's Germany's equivalent of the FA Cup. Um, so yeah, it's you know things like that. Um, so yeah, so Marco is being retired, guys. Never thought that happened. I don't know where you're going, pal. You missed a chance. Thank you. Um. So yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to argue. I understand perfectly. So. So yeah. Um, I've, I always said I'd keep you guys in the loop, and that's what I am doing now. Um, the loop is it's Marco's being retired. Uh, in other news, I have the green light from both DDS management and night management to permanently run a DDS trailer as part of the partnership we've got going on. Plus, it gives both VTCs their time on VTD, I suppose. So. Yeah, I can. Yeah, so so yeah, that that's also the other news. When the new Renault gets delivered, I don't know. When the wrap gets done for it, I don't know. When the skin gets done for it, I don't know. So at the moment, I'm in the Scania, uh, and they're keeping me out on the continent. So I tell you, won't be ready for a month or so. Because um, Arnet, when I get to Arnet, I'm either gonna go. Back into UK and do a lot of UK work, or I'm gonna head. But I've got four different ways I'm going. I'm either going to Spain, I'm either going back to Italy, I'm either doing Eastern Europe or off to the Baltics, the Baltic countries. So I don't know what's happening with that yet till I get to Arnhem, and then I'm gonna decide. So I'm either gonna go to the south, west, southern, eastern. Parts of Europe. Talking about holidays, I'm very close to booking mine, but I will not tell you where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm gonna knock the video off here. Oh no, actually, I need to do the load. Alright, guys, so we've got 22 tons of empty pallets on board. Uh, pallets, not pellets. And we're heading for Zwoll. Uh, I thought it was going to our Zwoll, sorry. So we're going we're off to Zwoll, guys. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that, but uh, we're going to shoot off now and I'll see you for a chilly bit in a minute. Take care guys, see you in a minute. Alright guys, welcome back to the chilly section, I'll speak to you in the Netherlands.
Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. I had to call that short thing because I'm coming up on the delivery. I forgot it ran on that long. But yeah, how are we doing, guys? What a beautiful drive that was just now. I really enjoyed that. Um, sorry you see me picking my teeth. I needed to get the gum out of it. I've got these um, tree ball soft mints. I ordered. I ordered up shopping off for Tesco's, and they didn't have any of the ones I actually ordered. So give me the tree ball ones. <clears throat> Excuse me, I forgot that they disintegrate in your mouth, don't they really? And you chew on them, heaven forbid you chew on them, it turns into this glue and goes everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing guys? We are in the beautiful Netherlands, we're heading into Zwolle as we speak. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful up here, isn't it? Primo's do an amazing job. I'm not saying that because I'm sporty, but I'm telling the truth on it. Absolutely amazing job that these guys do. They do it out of their, do it out of their own free time as well. How cool is that? Hey, it's roundabout. It's one of the roundabouts I should do, hey. Where are we going? Nothing coming down the slip road. I check over there. Check that way. Whee. You just don't. You don't anticipate how, how much looking a truck driver has to do because of the trailer overhang, etc., and swing, and the fact he's so long and he bends. It's just weird, and it? it's cool but weird at the same time. So this one's a fairly easy drop. I've been told. I don't trust the fact it says 80. I'm gonna go 50. Oh, thank you very much. So many bugs be watching me on the traffic cams because I've been green and that's pretty much all the way. Wee. That's a oh. Yeah. Guardian Leviosa. Yay, I got it to open! <laughs> um, so I've knocked some on the stream deck then for two seconds. Yes, I know I don't have to park on the dock, but I need to turn around. So I was too far off of the dock. Well, the, the parking area. I don't know if this is a drop trailer or not. Because why would I be parking here if I need this trailer again? Unless I've got to wait. I don't know. This, I think this one could be the stop and drop that it was on about. But I'm not too sure yet. Engine is turning off. I pick up my book. I press enter with the book and I write it all down in my book all right so we went from Coblenz to wall uh, 347 kilometers Filling game trip time of 6 hours and 45 minutes and we carried it empty pallets DDS 22 tons as per normal 
so yeah I just want to thank everybody for watching today's virtual truck driver daily episode I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did making it but that is it for today so thank you to everybody for watching and don't forget the next VTDD episode is only one day away take care guys and I'll see you later